we worship you. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the blood that was shed. Thank you for the price that you paid. Thank you for rising on the third day. Thank you for the package of salvation. Thank you for your love so amazing. And in that love we stand. Father, we worship you. Tonight is a miracle service. Our God is the God of miracles. And I believe God wants to remind us that we have authority. We have authority. We have authority. Many times we say, God, do this for me, do this for me, yes. But many more times also, God wants to remind us that we have authority to bind, to lose, to receive, to take the hand of the devil off our case. We have authority. The Easter package is a package of power. Is a package of power. We had the Good Friday to uh, uh, last week. We had Good Friday. We had Easter Sunday. We cast our mind back at that weekend, and God is reminding us that we have authority. It's a package of power that God has given to us. And he has backed it up with authority that he has put in our hands. God is the God of power. The psalmist said, once has God spoken, twice I have heard that power belongs to God. All that we need to be able to live in this life was accomplished for us, was sealed even at Easter. And God has given us authority. What is authority? Authority is delegated power. Delegated power. His suffering, his death on the cross, everything was for our sake. Isaiah 53, 4-5 says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. Jesus took it all because of us. He took my place. He took your place. His death, his resurrection, Romans 6, 4 to, 4 to 8. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in newness of life. We also should walk in newness of life. The old life is gone. Because of the price that he paid, we should walk in newness of life. Verse 5, Romans 6, verse 5. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man... The old man of sin was crucified with him. Hallelujah. Was crucified with him. That the body of sin might be done away with. 
that we should no longer be slaves of sin. For he who has died has been freed from sin. Now if we died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Hallelujah. We know from scriptures and has been preached from this pulpit that the raising of uh, the rising of Christ from the dead, his resurrection was the greatest display of power that God made known to us. Ephesians 1.19. I'm going somewhere, church. I'm going to the fact that, that God has given us authority. And this authority he accomplished by the power that he that he that he has made available to us. Ephesians 1:19. Apostle Paul was praying for the Ephesian Christians, and he went on here. He was saying, and he was praying for them that they should know what is the exceeding greatness, exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. How many believers are in the house tonight? Thank you. According to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come the exceedingly greatness of his power when christ was raised from the dead he was christ sat at the right hand of the father in the heavenly places Verse 21 says, far above, far above, not just above, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Hallelujah. We are told in Ephesians 6 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, Ephesians 6, 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And then he goes on to encourage the church that therefore take up the whole armor of God <laughs> that there is a, there is a battle that is against you it's not a battle of flesh and blood it's a battle of I mean God is not I mean God doesn't hide from us what is against us because the greater one is in us hallelujah I mean it is so clear it says we do not wrestle it's not against flesh and, flesh, flesh and blood it's not but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. But Christ was raised from the dead and he seated at the right hand of the Father, far above these principalities, these powers, this host of wickedness, whatever name they are named. Ephesians 2, 4. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us. Please, can you say I'm loved of God? Hallelujah. I mean, if I wasn't loved of God, look at the price that was paid for me. It was paid for you too. I'm just personalizing it. Look at the price that was paid for me on Calvary. For God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, 
even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together. When Christ was raised from the dead, you and I were raised together. Hallelujah. We were raised together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We were raised together. When Christ was raised from, that, from the dead, we were raised together. We were made to sit with him. Hallelujah. You and I are seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus far above. We have authority. All that Christ did every year we remember Easter. All that Christ did at Easter it was not just for a display of his power. It was for you and I that we may be able to live in this life and live in this life victoriously. Hallelujah. In this life we will have tribulation. We say be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. When did he overcome? He overcame when he shed that blood on Calvary. When he died and when he rose again. When he rose again, I too, I was raised. Hallelujah. And seated together. We have authority. Church, we have authority. God wants to remind us Yes, we are humble people as believers in Christ Jesus. We should be humble. Humility is the image of Christ. But there is a lion that lives within us. He's Judah's lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. The greater one lives in us. And we must live knowledgeable of this authority do we know that we have authority do you know that you have authority in christ jesus when christ had been raised from the dead he appeared to, to the, to, to the, to the uh, disciples and he said to them in Matthew 28, verse 18, he said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore. Go, therefore. Because I have all authority has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. We, 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 we saw on, on Sunday, Pastor uh, Kolade was giving us a testimony that if you want to see power, if you want to see the display, then go out and evangelize and, and see how God will back you up. He says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and teaching them to observe all things that I have committed to you. And no, I am with you always. I'm with you always. He's with us always. In Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. Drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Authority. Luke 10 19. Behold, I give you the authority. I'm reading from the New King James Version. To trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
is a miracle service. And God is reminding us that he paid the price. He has accomplished it all. He said it is finished. He did all of that. And he gave us authority. Authority is delegated power. If you want to understand what, what, what it looks like, you remember the, the, the traffic warden. The traffic warden is dressed. When he's properly dressed, with his cap on, with his, you know, uh, for us, is um, the pinkish yellow outfit, well dressed, and he tells a trailer coming. He doesn't have power of his own to stop a trailer. But he has authority. He says this, and he has to stop. Because he's representing the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Authority. He says, move, and then he goes. God wants us to know that we have authority. Knowledge. And how does it come? It comes by the study of the word of God. You and I, we must grow in grace and grow in the knowledge of God's word. Second Peter 3, 18. But grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We should be knowing more and more every day of this God that we are serving. We must live conscious of this authority. We must live conscious of it. We must, be, we must have knowledge of it. We must also live responsibly if we are going to be able to see the authority of the, the authority that we have been in, 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 in action for, for us, then we must live conscious of it. We must live responsibly. We must live it. We must live that live in the capacity of one who has that authority. You agree with me that if you see a traffic warden who has no shirt on, you will not stop. I will not stop. Because he's not responsibly dressed. I will assume that maybe he was once a traffic warden and he went mad and escaped with, some, with the trouser and the, and the cap. We must live responsibly. Romans 6, 11 from 11. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Reckon yourself. Therefore, do not let sin, don't let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in its lusts. And do not present your members as instruments to sin, but present yourself to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. For sin shall not have dominion over you. So we must live responsibly. When the enemy wants to wants to wants to to to, to entice us with the, with, the, with 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 the loss of sin, no no no, I'm I'm I am I am dead to sin. I'm dead to sin. When Christ was nailed to the cross, this body of sin was nailed to the cross. Sin shall not have dominion over me. And I live in newness of life in Christ Jesus. Whatever habits, whatever habits of the flesh, whatever, whatever the enemy wants to bring to us let, us, let us live conscious of the fact that we have the new life of Christ in us. We have this authority given to us. Let us live, live it. Let us live responsibly. And let, let, let us also exercise that authority. Amen. Exercise the authority that you have. It costs 
God everything. That was why he said, it is finished. The price has been paid. The veil of the curtain was torn from top down. The Holy of Holies has now moved out to dwell in you and I. God's spirit now dwells in us. So we must exercise that authority, child of God. No, whatever it is that you do not like in your life, as a child of God, God's spirit, that, this is not how it, it should be for me. God is saying, exercise your authority. You have authority. I've given it to you. I gave you at Calvary. When I was raised from the dead, you also, you were raised. Yes, right now we are seated physically in Vinebrand Church. But where are we seated spiritually? In heavenly places. Far above. Oh, I used to, I, I used to, you know, when, when people say they have dreams and they, something is pursuing them and running up and down and sweating, that was my life many years ago. But when I got to know who I, I am in Christ Jesus, and the more we know it, the more we live it, the more we, 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 we exercise that authority, the more we will reign in life as the kings that we are, as the priests that we are. Exercise it. James 4, 7. You can come to the keyboard, my brother. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit to God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist him. No, 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 no. No way. No more cough in this home. Coughing today, coughing. No more. This is a Jesus soul. The blood has been shed. The price has been paid. No way. No more failure in this home. No more fear. The main cause of fear, you know, I, I, I read this somewhere a few weeks ago and I, and I, and I said, wait, that's, that's true. He said, the main cause of fear is ignorance. It's ignorance. You can see me now. You know that I'm the one here. Well, if everywhere was dark and you see, and you see an image here swaying, you will, you will run and run through the glass there. But once there's I just say, oh, it's me. It's, so you run because of ignorance. And what is the opposite of ignorance? If you, I mean, if you are ignorant of something, the opposite of it is the truth. The truth is that I'm the one standing here. Well, because you do not know, you are afraid. Child of God, the truth will set, set us free. You shall know the truth. When you know the truth, and what is the truth? The word is the truth. Sanctify them by thy word. Thy word is truth. When we know the truth, then we stop to be ignorant. And so fear has no place in our lives any longer. God's word says, I will see my children's children. That is the truth. And so right now, if anything is contrary, it's a lie. And so there is no need for me, for me to be afraid. So exercise your authority. Tonight, a man of God said that his, 
that over 15 years he was praying for his brother to get born again that he fasted about it sometimes he will fast weeks on end but the more he fasted the more his brother got worse until one day when he was about start praying again he said he just came to that god just put to him and said you have authority you have authority don't me god please father please save my brother i've saved him already i've paid the price already stand in your place he said he rose that day and he said devil take your hands off my brother his soul is redeemed he called him by name and said to you 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 know cry your eyes will open and you serve the living god authority he said not long after then his brother got born again we have authority tonight you will arise and you would exercise your authority. Easter was a package of power. You and I were not ordinary people. We are inhabited by the King of Glory. The spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in us. And by that same spirit, everything about us is being quickened. We have authority. Let us begin to exercise that authority. Please rise upon your feet tonight. Whatever it is, is a miracle service. God is the God of miracles. And he's saying to us tonight, there are some prayers that God, please do this, please do that, please do this against, no, no. You exercise your authority against the devil in whatever is, you, you, whatever, whatever you know the enemy is holding, Whatever you know the enemy is holding. Sickness is of the devil. Lack is of the devil. Whatever is, is, is not in line with the will of God is of the devil. Exercise your authority. And speak. And receive that which is yours. He is the God of miracles. He has accomplished it all for us. He finished it. It's a completed work. It's a completed work. About you, about me, and all that concerns me. Everything that is out of line with the word of God, we come tonight in the name of Jesus. We have the name of Jesus. We have the power in that name of Jesus. Break the hold of the devil over your life and the family. He has no right. 